I just want to follow up on a video that I did on day five. That was the day that I spoke about the lady on the forex that had been tested positive and that we had sent off one of our staff to uh, for isolation. I did at the end of that video say uh, we were not out of the woods yet. Um, if that member that was sent off was tested positive, he did. So let's run through what has actually happened in the period from then to now. I think it's important to run through the timeline of when what happened along the way and what our actions were in the process. Let me run through the two staff members, uh, or the, not staff members, the two people that were in our store that went off. Sorry, I have to refer to, to notes just to make sure I'm not wrong. On Saturday the 21st of March, the lady that worked in Forex went off home. That was the last day that she was in store and she went home. She went to go and see the doctor on Monday the 23rd and we for a test and she was in self-isolation. Um, at that stage none of us in fact knew that there was somebody that was associated with our business in fact had tested positively. On Saturday the 28th we received notification that she had uh, tested positive and at that stage we did not know that she'd been in contact with any of our staff or direct what, what we call close contact with any of our staff. So when I made the video I in fact did not know about the individual that now tested positive. On Monday the 30th we were informed by the department that there was and this was the first time we had official uh, notification on Monday the 30th we were notified that there was um, somebody that worked in our store he in fact doesn't, isn't employed by us he's an outside merchandiser um, that he had been in close contact with um, the the lady we immediately sent um, him off and we then we took his details and supplied that to the department one of our uh, store managers has been phoning um, the young man every day to find out how he is uh, we he's, he's been fine up until yesterday and yesterday he received the results uh, that he was he was positive at that point that was and, and that didn't come from from the department or from anybody it was simply because we were keeping in contact with um, him specifically we then um, got the names of the individuals that he had been in close contact with and I'll explain close contact a little bit later I'll actually read out the exact description of close contact not casual contact um, and we it, it transpires that or from the information that we've gleaned from him that there are six individuals that have been in close contact with him the six people uh, that were at work uh, the ones that were at work yesterday we called them in interviewed them got their close contacts and immediately sent them off to uh, for self-isolation supplying the department with the the contact details the next step is that the people that have been in contact with somebody that's been positive the the, the close contacts you then interview the close contacts and find out who they've been in contact with now that's the last tier they are they simply need to be notified that they've been in contact with somebody that's been in contact with the virus uh, we've done all of that. There, there are some outstanding. They weren't at work yesterday and we will wait uh, for tomorrow to try. We've contacted them and then we will try and get the forms to them so that they can supply us with that in additional information. So what is a close contact? And um, forgive me, I've got my glasses on for this one. You have been 
<coughs> this is the definition as supplied um, on the web. We have, you have been in close contact with someone who has confirmed coronavirus, but you do not have any symptoms yourself. Close contact means that you had face-to-face -face contact within one meter or were in, in a close space for more than 15 minutes with the person with COVID-19. This contact happened while the person with COVID-19 was still infectious. And they give the example from two days before to 14 days after their symptoms begin. So that is close contact. Any other contact is classed as being casual contact. So we concentrate on the individuals that have had that kind of contact. So close contact within a meter for a sustained period of time or been in, 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 in contact for 15 minutes. And that's where you interview the, the staff member and you get the names of the people that they have given. Um, those we have got, once you've got those names, the people that they have been in contact with, again, have to supply the people that they have been in close contact. So you're basically one step ahead. All of that we have done as of yesterday afternoon already. So I think important that I cover some of the things that we've done in the store to, to mitigate the spread of, of COVID-19. Um, just some of the, the, the big items that, that I've been posting over the period. Uh, the day after lockdown on Friday, we had installed our sneeze guards um, had gone up in that in the morning so between cashiers and customers we were already protecting the, uh, the the public and our own staff generally there wouldn't be close contact the one meter contact from uh, customers except at, at the checkouts that was our riskiest area we also instituted uh, obviously the the sanitizing at the front door sanitizing of the checkout after every transaction um, sanitizing of hands whilst um, after every transaction so that was what we were we were uh, doing there we instituted social distancing we closed the the seating area of our uh, canteen in addition to that we attempted with our queuing outside the store as difficult as what it was was to attempt to get the the customers uh, to queue one meter apart it, it was difficult initially uh, we we did get it right um, at, at, later on that we in fact got the enti entire queue to be spaced a meter apart we actually made marks on the floor on the gr on the pavement outside and the, and the customers were in fact standing a meter apart inside the store we adhered to the the square meterage divided by eight to arrive at our, our numbers. Again, an indicator at the, at the front end was that we were only using every second checkout so that we could have distancing from left to right so that no, uh, no customers stood in queues next to each other. We then also didn't have more than uh, two people, potentially three, at a checkout, which is more than enough space at our checkouts to in fact uh, do the, the social distancing. All the trolleys were, were sanitized before they came in. Baskets were sanitized before they came in. On Monday, so the same day that the, um, that the staff member was sent off, the one that has tested positive now, we started to sanitize the entire area from outside where the customers were standing outside all the way in all the checkouts public um, uh, public bathrooms uh, staff canteen staff toilets and also the front area where the most customers will come through so the space between the checkout and the front of the gondolas so we followed every possible protocol that has been put down and we've probably added a couple of us our own to make sure that we are being responsible in our running of our business and that we don't increase the spread of this um, virus 
So, uh, late Sunday afternoon, in fact the sun is in my eyes here, um, I'm going to put this together, I'll try and get it out tonight still, and let's see what happens tomorrow, and we'll take it one day at a time at this